Okay guys, so this is a worldwide episode of the Daily Dose of Degeneracy. Now the thing is, this episode, we have a degenerate that actually grew some brain cells and decided to be smart for once. Who the heck am I talking about? Well, none other than the flipping Gorilla Glue Girl. Now I heard about this story on literally the day that it happened, but you know, because I actually didn't think it would be super big for some reason, I just didn't think it was worth covering. Spoiler alert, it became extremely viral, so I feel like kicking myself in the foot for that one. Now I'm almost sure the Gorilla Glue girl needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever but just for the two percent of people who might not know who the heck she is i'm gonna tell you what's up so basically this girl right here she put gorilla glue in her hair and expected it not to stick for some strange reason i don't flipping know what was going on through her head but yeah so here's a clip of her explaining hey y'all for those of y'all that know me know my hair has been like this for about a month now it's not by choice no it's not by choice when I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got to be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm gonna tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. For so yeah, that clip went absolutely viral. Literally every single social media influencer has talked about it by now. But the funny thing is, I was just scrolling through TikTok and funny enough, I actually saw the original video on my For You page, so that's kind of crazy. So I went on her page and I noticed this girl quite literally had 1.1 million followers. Imagine gaining that size of a following because you put glue in your head. The only people I know who got this famous from having no brain are the Paul brothers. Now listen, I'm not trying to hate on nobody if you winning you winning you know what i'm saying if you making that bag g make your bag but unfortunately a lot of people really and truly don't share the same mindset that's why most people are actually upset at the fact that this girl is actually selling merch yes that's right i went on her page and her most recent video was a promotion for her merch line can you believe this girl is literally selling t-shirts with her face on it as if people even know her name now listen as i said i'm not hating on nobody i would do the same thing I'd try to capitalize on it and I'd be a fool to not do so. But that doesn't make this any less worthy of making fun of. I don't know who is going to buy that merchandise or why they would want to buy that merchandise. At first I thought she could get people to buy it by saying, hey, I need the money to do hair surgery and fix up my head or whatever the heck. But the funny thing is she actually got free surgery to deal with the damage that was caused by her own stupid actions. And on top of the free surgery, she made $20,000 off of GoFundMe. So this girl quite literally does not need the money for anything related to the actual incident therefore i have no clue what would drive somebody to want to buy the merch the only thing i can think of is probably a death wish or some type of degradation kink because if you actually find it within yourself to put that piece of fabric on your body i'm sorry dog but you're getting yourself a one-way ticket straight to the town of bullying the one person out of the million who actually decides to purchase that merch will be officially awarded the biggest l of 2021 <laughs> as i said that i kind of thought of just buying the merch just for like a youtube video <laughs> just be like i bought gorilla glue girls merch and this happened or some foolishness like that i don't know but speaking of the merch why don't we you know go to her website and actually take a look at what it looks like her full catalog all right guys we are on the web oh um whoops anyways yeah um we are on the website and uh you know the i can clearly see that she has a professional setup and everything this girl must have paid a nice design team to put to set this up for her because she knew she'd make a good ass profit so hey can't hate on her you know first of all we got the logo right here tessica i'm assuming that's her name bonded for life that is a pretty actually clever slo slogan or whatever the heck it's called so i have to give that one to her you know what i'm saying she got them bars she clearly utilized some brain power to come up with this fire bar right here so i have to give that one to her you know she's clearly getting smarter i mean this girl is selling 20 this t-shirt right here for 28 dollars of just her face on it right you know we don't we know not a lot of people are gonna buy it but hey some sucker is gonna do it so if 10 people buy this that's still like 300 bucks you know what i'm saying 
and yeah bonded for life black you know she got the black lives matter edition you know what i'm saying people gonna buy that to support black lives matter you know what i'm saying <laughs> what the heck is this hold up oh i thought that like line right there was like smoke or like snot dripping from her i don't flipping know dog but yeah she has a bonded for life hoodie you know just a black hoodie with the word bonded for life for 50 bucks hold on let me just see something amazon black hoodie hold on bro you could get the exact same hoodie on amazon for literally 20 bucks dog like 20 flipping dot 20 23 flipping dollars and she's out here selling it for 50 bro like is the bonded for life really that much more like are niggas that desperate to have love that they want to be bond they want they need the words bonded for life on their chest all the time no scratch that you could get it for 14 dollars bro 14 bucks anyways miss tessica over here clearly knows what the heck she's doing you know what i'm saying milking whoever is dumb enough to buy it and hey if she's making if the degenerates in this world really exist, then might as well make use of them. I'm doing it to make content, so can't really blame her. But anyways guys, that's it for the video today. Remember to subscribe to the channel as always. If you did not enjoy the video, remember to press the dislike button. If you did not enjoy the video, remember to smash the dislike button because that's your true opinion and you shouldn't hide it because of me. But of course, if you did enjoy this video, remember to punch the like button in the face till it turns blue like your name is Chris Breezy. Do the same subscribe button as I said before. And of course, guys, as always, it's been your boy John and you are now leaving my mind.